For the longest time, we didn't believe in Latch. We thought he was a myth. But, uh, boy, were we wrong. Latch is, well, he's an urban wizard. He's a rural donkey. He's up, he's down, he's left, he's right, he's north, he's east, he's south, he's west. You can't really put a pin in Latch. Spicy. Spicy, definitely. Touch of turmeric. He makes me feel myself. I don't mean that sexually. I mean more me than I've ever been. Like me squared. Me to the power of two. And I just explode inside myself. Again, not sexually. More like a inward burp of adoration for such a genius man. So what makes you excited about this new subscription service? This new subscription service... No, I'm, I'm, I'm over here. Right. This new subscription no, service... No, I'm over here. But I thought... In... No, no, no. You look over here. But in all the things I've seen, they always look no, this no, no. way. No, no, no. That's very 2004. You look at me. Look at the camera. Oh, okay. So with this, with the subscription service, basically it's like Kickstarter, if you've heard of Kickstarter, but Kickstarter is just one project at a time. I can't be limited to one project at a time. I'm an artist who's the tap on the faucet of my art has been broken off. It's a constant stream. Um, I'm in the middle of writing a new novel. I just put out a poetry book. My BBC Radio 4 series is uh, happening. Um, I'm doing tours, doing concerts. So the idea that I have to put something out and it, make something now and a year later it will finally come out but I can't put out anything in between, that's all, that's all gone. This train is rolling. The latch train is rolling. The subscription is your ticket to get on the train and see where it goes. Okay, so for instance, when I moved from New York, I've got tons of writings in boxes everywhere that have not seen an audience yet. Lyrics, poems, stories. There's also cassettes and these are live concerts I've done over the years. These are demo tapes. Now everybody says that they were that the band they were in was like the best band ever, but they're wrong because I was in the best band ever. It was called Proper In and we never put out a record, um, but we have these live cassettes. And I got myself a Denon cassette player, and I'm transferring them into Pro Tools, digitalizing them, and I will throw them up there, and you guys will get to hear uh, proper in. never met them, they seem so real to me, but these so-called rock stars were just clowns on corporate chains, strippers and con men by any other. Here are all my albums. Now, when you subscribe, you'll get all of, all of my CDs in digital form, including the original artwork. This was my first CD that came out, it's called Contender. Uh, it's very rare because the record label, which was owned by Danny Goldberg, who was managing Nirvana at the time, he signed me to this label with Joe Baez, and uh, the label went bankrupt three months later. I didn't record again for many years because I was so disenchanted with the record business after that. So that, that's, a, that's about it, um, uh, in, a, in a nutshell. On the goodies side, when you subscribe, you'll get all of my albums and a lot more stuff. But more importantly, um, you'll help me live in this new era, in this new time that artists are trying to live with, where it's nigh impossible for a, a musician, a rocker these days, to make a living, uh, to do their art, to create. Um, and it's almost killed us off. But this new paradigm uh, through Bandcamp has come along um, allowing you guys to subscribe directly and you don't have to wait to go to the record store you'll get all of our stuff right away and you will know that because of your subscription directly um, you're the reason I'm getting up in the morning and creating every day so thanks
I first heard about Latch when I was uh, holidaying in the Mediterranean. I was surfing just off the Isle of Sicily, uh, which is difficult because there's no waves. And uh, this dolphin swam past me and he went, Oi, boy! You heard about Latch? And I was like, No. So I went home and I looked him up on Google. It was great. Once my uh, broadband connected, your nose a bit iffy in Sicily. Ooh, Italian. <laughs>